John here guys and today we're talking about the Hi-Fi RC 45 amp toothpick board. Now this is a very special release. There have been a sea of releases in this toothpick board category but this is the first one that I'm aware of that takes it all the way up to 45 amps. six s capable and instead of the f4 that most of them have this has an f7 processor so additional computing power for all of those incredibly demanding needs so the real question is as these these get beefier and beefier can this actually run a five inch 6s quad uh, maybe a lighter version of that um, I'm very, very curious if it can even handle something that's around a 250, 260 gram weight with a 6S battery that's going to be another close to 200 grams. That's the real question. The layout is undisputably good. And it comes in at an incredible $56 price point for all of that goodness. So can you replace? Here it comes with a nice capacitor that you can see right here. It's one of those green ones which is a 470 35 volt capacitor right there. In addition to the cap, you also get a variety of nice yellow gummies, some nice thick gauge wire for your power leads, and a genuine AMAS connector. Spent no expense. They haven't scrimped out on the connector at all, which is a nice change on some of these little boards that you wanna be able to use. Um, if you look at the pad layout, it's done by somebody that actually flies. You have a nice, it's a thin amount of pad, but it goes from the top to the bottom. So you can really use those edges to solder a larger size motor on here if you so chose. Same thing goes for the other pads around the corners. It looks like in the top corner, you have your TX2 RX2 5 volt ground. So you would put crossfire like in the top left up there if you were looking at the board on the other side you have tx4 rx4 ground 5 volts um, so that would be where you could put dji if you were using it along the bottom for your analog pilots you have your video in along with a another 5 volt and ground so you have quite a lot of choices for this six total uarts on here and the pad layout is actually pretty pretty good i'm looking forward to getting this built up i really like how they've given you pads with the side layout that really allows you to keep the board small so that you can maximize all of the real estate on the board for adding tons of caps tons of fets and that's what you really need if you're going to go all the way up to 6s voltage through a tiny little board like this because remember this is the flight controller and the esc all in one so what do you think in the comments guys is it a time period where we can switch our ultralights to this are you better off just staying 20 by 20 and spending just a couple of dollars more and getting something like the mamba mk3 I guess it really depends on what size build you're getting. This is eight grams. Your typical 20 by 20 stack is gonna be a bit heavier and a bit more um, to get it built up. But then you have the benefit of having the ESC and the flight controller separately. What do you think guys? Are we ready to go for all in one boards for a five inch? Maybe for something ultralight is kind of what I'm thinking and that's probably what I'm gonna use it in. Thanks guys.